getting a chance to start your 2014 campaign and uh, playing a full game against the defending NWSL champion. So how excited are you about that? Well, we're definitely excited about the opportunity, not just for us as a team, but for the Tucson community to get out and see soccer at a really high level. And hopefully we gain some fans out of it to come and support us throughout the year. And hopefully the Portland Thorns and the league itself gain some new fans to, to keep it uh, thriving moving forward. So we're, we're excited all the way around. You guys have this message of building a legacy. So how does events like these and the chance for Arizona soccer you know, work toward that plan? Well, it definitely you know takes it to another level, and we want to show that you know we can play soccer at a high level, and that the Tucson community can put games on like this and really uh, be a, a staple in the soccer community throughout the country. So we're excited for that opportunity, and think it'll be a great event. Uh, Portland, they're you know, one of the most popular teams in the NWSL. I think they're the highest attendance in the league, but they're going to an environment where it's probably going to be very pro Arizona. So how much you're looking forward to being able to play in front of a home crowd? Well, you know, again, we're super excited and we really hope that, you know, the Tucson community comes out and sees some of the best players in the world and sees what our girls can do. And, you know, our goal is that we walk off the field and, and the fans in the stands, you know, know that our girls work hard and compete at a high level as well. And uh, we think it'll be uh, an excellent thing all, all the way around. What are some of the players you're looking forward to seeing out there for your, for your team? For our team? Uh, well, you know, we, we lost a couple seniors who contributed a lot in the fall. So this spring, we're looking for some players to step up a bit. Uh, Schaefer Skadson uh, has really embraced her role this year. And we have a couple players on our leadership group, like McKaylin Rosenquest and Haley Estepari, Julia Grant, Glanz, and Bree De Felice that we think uh, will grow into their new roles this spring. And we hope that starts on Friday. What do you think this is doing? Well, they're going to see soccer at the highest level. And, you know, they think they play at a high speed of play. And I think this will be eye opening for them to see, OK, this really is next level stuff. So we hope we can take a lot of positive things out of that, you know, that we want to play quicker. We want to ha have a high speed of play. We want to compete at a high level. And we think this is going to showcase that for them and really be able to take some things out of the game uh, to help our our growth overall as well. Uh, Tony Amato, uh, what team? Uh, the University of Arizona. Yes. How do you plan to keep up your momentum from your last fall season and bring into this spring? Uh, the, you know, we do feel like we have good momentum, not just with our current team, but in recruiting overall. And, and the biggest thing for us is, you know, we want to keep creating an elite environment so that our players have an elite experience, and we keep working at that every day so that they'll give us an elite performance, and we think that'll carry through.